The postman delivered something very special and vintage for me. I wonder what this is. You guys know by the title, but let's see what it looks like. Unbox this vintage iron with me, and let's see the new addition to my collection. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. First off, happy coronation weekend, everyone. Not sure if that's a sort of thing you'd say, but you know, I know there's some people on here who probably are into the royal family and all that, so, you know, and I hope all my fellow Brits are having a good time, especially those who are probably getting a time off school, time off work. Fortunately for me, I don't. I just got, I just happened to have a day off this weekend. I didn't, myself, didn't put myself down for a Sunday, so, you know, maybe next week I will. So anyway, thought I'd uh, get this, uh, I've had this for about a couple of days now, but I thought I'd save it. Um, as you know, a video of the Hoover 6 and the Miele just went up. So, I wanted to wait for that. So, this is a vintage Rowenta iron I brought from a very, very lovely seller on eBay. I will in probably include, actually, them in my description, because they got a load of vintage irons. I think they got some other appliances. Um, first time I've had a seller actually personally message me without me asking them a question. Um, let me know that I think um, when they were posting it, and they said if there's any defects, please let me know. I told them I'm a collector of iron, so I said the performance of it is not really what I'm worried about and they said it looks like it's gone to the right home it's very similar to the professional inox one that i've got which was my first vintage iron into this collection uh, as you guys know i have a special love for rowenta irons probably because they're german just the same way i like miele washer machines um so pretty much the shelf behind you is about 90 percent rowenta it's going to be about 95 percent rowenta once this gets up on there because i've got to move one of the phillips irons off there it's rowenta and phillips at the moment so sadly one phillips is gonna to have to go what a shame never mind so i'm falling here because it's not comfortable this is up quite high so i'm gonna unbox this and see what it's all about and get it working i can't remember if it has a plug on it or not we might have to do what we did with the phillips hopefully not <laughs> Let's get out there, get some scissors out, and we'll see what this is about. I believe it's a 1980s iron. I don't know what this is on the front of it. Betty's, it's in a box, but I absolutely love what the uh, seller put on here. See, this is fresh products open now. Probably these were sweets. Look, he's put vintage. <laughs> Um, I did scribble out their name on top, obviously I, I scribble out everything on top in case, you know, someone thinks to track my address down. Fortunately my table is being used as iron storage here, so I can't necessarily... Oh, right, so... We are, look at it hiding there. Sleeping. This is unusual paper. It looks more like tissue, but wow, wow. Well, that's uh, pretty well packed. This looks like tissue to me. Well, it'll be good for when I have my hay fever attacks. Oh, wow! Look at this. It's got an actual cover. You put on it. I like that. Yep, it's got the same non-insulated cord like my other one does. Well, the two have actually. I've got two Rowentas there that I've got that. Before they got the famous sort of rope around, the braided rope around it. Oh, she's a beauty. Ready? Look at that. Oh. And there's someone who... Um, on my previous iron video said they like the idea of the transparent uh, water tank. Oh, that's been well looked after. Ah, that's what they said. It's been used with uh, sterilized, was it sterilized or what's it called? Distilled water. So there should be no, there is no lime scale on that at all. Which is why I feel bad because of me, I end up putting it through tap water. I need to get a Brita filter or something. Well, that's not, oh, it is, is it removable? No, I don't think it is. Wow. Look at that gleaming sole plate. Stainless steel, proper thick as well. Oh. Rowenta DA 
AC 3.1, 1200 watt. On 240 volts, it gets to 1440 watt. That is amazing. That is proper, proper ACs, that is. See? Rowenta made in West Germany. I like this because we've got the steam control on the side. And look at that. It, see, my other one I've got is a bit jammed up with its steam control. I've probably just got like dirt there. You've got your... Oh, you've got two buttons. So what's it? One... Oh. Well, one button there. And then this one's your water jet. And that one, what's that? Slides back. Uh, oh! Hello, hello. Oh, well, I could use it as a, as a dry iron, but. A bit of plastic in there somewhere. It's not a big deal at all. That must be removed for cleaning. We can actually see how the, uh... well, this is interesting. You can actually see how steam control works. That is a fantastic looking iron. There's your water jet. Again, like the other one, sprayed to aim down. But that's blue. That one's white. This is definitely from a different... I think this, this one's older than that one. Because that one I got is 1990s. Wow, this, this is incredible. Wow, okay. It must be, I think that removes for... Um, maybe we want to empty it or to clean it, maybe. Wow. And it locks, that's it, because there's locks in there. And that locks forward. Okay. And then you've got the cord at the back. Not silver cord, but it just goes like that. Um, there is no numbers on this, though, for me to... It just says 9F here. That's uh, something to do with the production. We know it's 80s, this one. I wanted to get using it so I could leave the guy a review. And we've got our indicator light on both sides. I think that's the first I've had with one going both sides. Wow. So it's plugged in. Um, I've got three cotton shirts to iron, so I'm just going to do them. They've just come out of the dryer and they're going to be sold on Vinted. And not that anyone will probably be interested, but yeah, I do have in there, I put a lot of my clothes on there um, that I don't want, and they're often featured in washing videos as well. So, um, normally brand new irons, I would run them through all fabrics, like, you know, but for these I just kind of do whatever we do with it. Although what we can do is iron each shirt at a different temperature, is what I might do. So, to start, I need to turn the dial, the thermostat. Tells you which way to turn it. All right, click. So that's heating. We'll do it on the low setting. Don't need to measure the temperature of it. I just want to make it a nice relaxing ironing video. So I'm going to pour my water in through here. And you might be able to see it rising up the side. Oh, that's a very vintage smell with that coming on. Nice and slowly. I'm putting in quite a full tank because I know what Rowentas are like with their water. Alright, that's finished heating. I'm going to fill it to about halfway there. Tip all that in. And I'm going to put, I am going to put the steam on for this. Just a setting one. Uh, not that this setting uses steam anyway. Because you only get the steam on this when you go up to the red section. Right, let's shift this over a little bit. Zoom out. So, I'll go with a nice... Actually, I'll go with the polo shirt. Because I know what these shirts are like. So these have got a teeny bit of dampness in them. Because they've literally just come fresh out of the dryer. And out the Hoover 6, actually. They were in the Hoover 6. Right, a lot of adjusting that needs to be done here because unfortunately it's very hard to get the uh, full ironing board in. Ooh. Well, with all that water in there as well, that is one very heavy iron, that is wow. Oh, there's steam though. Now that's interesting. 
there's steam on that at a, a low temperature. I like the precision tip this has got as well. I'll have to do a comparison next to the other rubber that I've got. Hmm. Wow, that is very hot for... But it's heating and clicking on and off. Um, that is very, very hot for a low setting. Expecting that, that's really nice. Oh. Well, I'm a bit confused about that. That's. Switch it off, does it stop letting out steam? But it's clicking. Okay, I'm just a bit concerned there, thinking is that doing what my Hoover one does, which it just doesn't know when, that one has got a faulty thermostat, so it just doesn't know when to stop heating. If it was a modern iron, I'd have plugged it in outside somewhere and let it blow itself up, but I might not, I want to keep that iron. I'm just a little bit concerned that it's it's that hot for a low, a low heat setting. Okay, so if I put the, if I put the setting, steam setting down to one, Oh, hang on. Mm, okay, fair enough. But it, it is maintaining its temperature going on and off. Okay, so fair enough. Yeah, it's heating on and off, okay. Maybe these ones just got hotter on the lower settings. It's only on, on the first setting. Wow. Get some water out, shall we? I'll spray a few times. Always oh, my... Wow, that is a lot of steam coming off that. Come on. Hey. Look at the way that sprays out. These Rowentas are really good for their steam. That's one thing. Like that. It's like the Phillips I've got though, you can see the water going around. There is something I saw on e on Marketplace that's quite interesting, a 1980 style Thompson um, top low dryer. Yeah. Wow. So that sound you're hearing, that sizzling, is it burning all the water off, like evaporating? All right, that's good for a photo shoot. Girls on film. It's releasing a lot of steam, that is. Look. I'll switch that off. But it's clicking to tell me it's heating and knows when to shut off, so. Okay. I'll have to. F have I got three hangers? Next shirt, we're going to turn this up. So the um, indicator light doesn't work, no big deal though, now this shirt's got a transfer on it, so I'm going to flick that to full steam. Uh, we've woken the dragon. I told you though, this is the reason why I've, uh... yeah I'm, I'm actually going to fill that, I'm actually going to put the rest of that water in, that's going to need it. I've practically filled that to max level because that iron is going to need it. Oh my goodness, they don't mess around these irons with steam. So I see if we can get a nice close-up shot of the iron. So that's on full heat, uh, full steam and medium heat. Oh, no steam, there we are. Oh, that is 
really hot now for that one. I can't imagine what maximum heat's going to be like. I just love how that glides. This is one thing, they're heavy irons, when, especially with full of water. But man, they do really well. You can imagine buying one of these brand new in the 80s. Got to try out some more modern irons then, see what they're like now. Maybe the next payday I'll treat myself to one. Really? Should we see if we can fire some... Oh. oh! I might want to blast that out here. <sighs> That's a bit of scale coming out of that wall. <laughs> that something drop on my foot. I thought, oh yeah, it's dropping off bits of scale. Spray some water down. That really shoots that, that does, that water. Imagine ironing, ironing pillowcases and sheets with this. Oh, I should have done that with my bedding. Never mind. Well, my bedding doesn't stay on my bed anyway. It gets folded away because I've got a sofa bed. Nice. Whoa, no. Wow, that is a very powerful iron, that is. So yeah, I might consider doing an ASMR video where I either whisper or I just don't talk or you just get to hear the That sound of the iron. That's why I've got a dim light setting as well to make it more relaxing. All the residue of it around the side, wow. So that whole bit around the front is hot as well. If I touch that I'd burn myself badly. So do not mess with irons guys. Irons are not toys. If you want a toy iron get one from early learning centre or somewhere or Barbie one or so, but don't mess around with these. At the age of about nine, I decided to plug in this iron that we had. I think it, I'm sure it was that Oric one. I don't know, it was a, it was a green one. And uh, I started trying to iron. Mum went absolutely mental with me over it. I knew what I was doing. Like, I knew how to do it safely. But, you know, still. Never realised how hot irons get. And these get. That is very hot. Like. Thinking about what, what ironing does. Is it, it, it causes the um, bonds between the, the fibres to like expand. And that's what causes the. the that's what uh, makes the creases go away. Because creases cause when all the fibres get crushed. Which is why a lot of high speed washing machines tend to crush clothes. Unless they do. So like stuff comes out of the Hoover 6 quite creased because the machine doesn't do a, a spin and it uh, the tangle or burst. And it does that to the fibres. So when you iron, it does that, separates it. Right, for the last one, which is a pyjama top, I'm going to put this up to maximum heat and steam. Mm -hmm. Do we really want to tame the dragon? Let's go. All the way up to maximum. So that's even got the steam icon there. That's going to heat. So I have to wait for the click. Should be fine actually. I don't think it's going to do much. I like this. So you switch that off. And then. And it's your steam button. See? Scary, isn't it? Here we go. <coughs> I don't know how much steam we're going to get off that. Yep. Oof, bloody hell. That is seriously hot, that is. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's just keep my feet back in case. Right. I'm now wondering. What is smoke 
or steam off this because I'm telling you this smells like it's burning off all the dust. Yeah, it's, it is burning off some dust on the iron as well. There is... I swear to God, that's burning something. God, that is... You know what? I'm going to be honest about something. I think this might be the one and only iron in my collection that I cannot use at full heat. Because that really smells like it's burning something. Like, the, this, the heat off this iron is absolutely ridiculous, it is. It's brilliant for, let me put some water down, because I'm, I'm, we need a fire extinguisher, I think. Let's have a look, right? Yeah, that is, like, the thing is, I'm ironing, right? And I'm just thinking, like, I know that that's steam. But I can smell the fabric getting hot, and I've not ever smelt that with any other iron that I've got. <laughs> wow. No, there'll be no creases left with this one. Actually, you know what? I will actually go downstairs and get the thermometer because I'm certain this is getting hotter than any other iron that I've. That is just. I could burn my hand by putting it on that. Wow. No thing is, there is a bit of scale in there though. Which is probably why it's not letting out. Hmm. I think that that is not letting out some of the steam. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, you got to do it gently. Hmm. Might need to run some uh, kill rock through this. Because that should be letting out tons of steam. Hang on. Let's try and keep going. Yeah, I think that's got a let. Because it's fine letting out water, so you can see there. Let's make a big puddle there for it to go over. Oh, can that. S I would like to know what, I'm even sweating from the heat coming off this. Although to be honest, to be fair, it has used up more than half that tank of water. Oh no, there's some steam coming off that. Blimey. Well, well if I want to run an ironing business, I'll certainly be using that one. Jeez. Maybe I should put it over a towel or something. Oh, I've got a towel maybe I could iron. I've got one on the floor here, haven't I? Oh, I've got a bit of a... I've got a, I've got a bath sheet here. I can tell I've used this for maintenance on a, on a washing machine or something. Right. Let's get some iron. Hang on, I come on, I think we're getting there. May I use that? Yeah, I've got to keep pumping the thing for that. And now we're getting somewhere. That is incredible heat though, I'm telling you. I'm not one that ever really does iron my towels though. Because the, the tumble dryer tends to do that anyway. Nice, that's really good though. I think it's, clear, I think it's clearing itself up now. Right, let's get my thermometer and measure that. Thermometer here, let's have a look, shall we? That's oh, just finished heating now, yeah? 
80 degrees. So we know that it roughly is somewhere up here that is where the element is. Oh, I got a spot there, it was really hot. I don't know if you can see where the light is reflecting on this. Try and never get this close to an iron. Unless you know exactly what you're doing, because uh, right, there's a spot there that's getting up to about 100 degrees. Off the irons do all get to about 100 degrees. You can read that, that is 120.4 degrees Celsius. I'll see if it keeps giving me that reading. Let's measure how hot the fabric is after I go over it. Because what I was experiencing from so we know for a fact that the fabrics are not smoking. Alrighty, so straight off I iron it. Bloody hell. 92 degrees, add 95 there for a second. Very good iron. Nothing wrong with it. It probably just needs a, a descale. But yeah, not that I ever, like I said, not that I ever iron my towels, but I tend to keep them for um, the self cleaning. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a self clean function. I think this was invented before all that. Shall I see if I can get a full glass of steam? No. Okay. Okay, so just finishing up on the video. So that was this Rowenza DE... A, no, DA83.1. Uh, steam iron from the 1980s. No model name to it, just literally Rowenza one. Absolutely amazing iron. Very hot iron, but albeit though, uh, nice addition to the collection. It really did a good job. Bit of a faff to op uh, to empty all that water out. I had to keep tipping it out, but I did. I removed that in the end. Now I'm going to make a little comparison here. This here, look there, is my Rowenta DE81.1 C. Um, slightly later one, we believe this is from. This is actually a 1600 watt iron, so it's far more powerful than that one at heating up. Look, inox stainless steel, whereas this one doesn't say any of that. It has got, as you can see, a different sole plate design. Visually though, they do kind of appear to be very similar. Same chunky sole plate, same precision tip. The, however, the water tank for this one is higher than this, the, uh, later one there. The temperature dial is also different. The cord is the same. And that's what this has got. Actually, this one has fallen on the floor. Um, it's actually at the end of the plug, you see there. So that's just something that's come off on there. Uh, but it's still got a bit retaining there. Both made in West Germany. Still says it on the back on both. This is not on here. The heat uh, light is actually here, but it doesn't work. And the steam control on this one is not only just stiff, it's also on the top. But here it's on the side. Only with three settings, this has got a gradual slider. The buttons for the steam and water jets are different, albeit in the exact same place with the same blue and red indicator. And so is the uh, jet at the front. Both pointing down on this one, it's very at the top. This one's within the water uh, where you refill the water. The water refill bar is lower on this one. That's because the tank raises that bit up. On this side, they're basically the same as that. So yeah, and of course at the back, they both have the same ironing diagram. Albeit this one's got a different, slightly different design to that one. But that's what that's what attracted me when I saw it. I was like, oh, it reminds me of the one I've already got. How uh, very, uh, oh, this has got a thicker handle to it than this one does 
so yeah two amazing irons in the collection and they are proper vintage I was very much of the uh, Phillips one there that's why they're going to sit next to that one and that's my other Rowenta so you've got Rowenta so I've now got one two three four five six seven eight I've got eight Rowentas in the collection that's really nice the nose do three of Phillips so one of them's gonna have to move. I want to keep this one in here amongst. I mean, I think that eventually this is just gonna be a full Rowenta shelf. They're gonna have to start moving it over there. Um, these travel irons will be demonstrated on when I go to some hotels, and I've got the uh, I've got the cordless ones down here as well, with the Russell Hobbs one there being sort of an odd one out. And then I've got here that's the one that Luke gave me, the nineteen eighties Morphe Richards. Those two are Morphe Richards, including this one here. This is a Black & Decker one. The one from America I bought six years ago and, and still haven't filmed because I need a transformer for it. Uh, and that's that Sabishi one we filmed the other day. I still need to sell that as well. Keep forgetting to put that up. So caught up with everything. That's the Turbo Reflex 9000. I really like that iron. Really good steam on that one. But yeah, that's just inside. And that's the Hoover one, which we can't figure out who makes it. It's not Hoover. But the problem with this iron is that it doesn't know when to stop heating. It's got a faulty thermostat and I have no idea who makes it. So it's made in Italy. That's the only thing I can say about it. So unfortunately, without knowing that, I can't get any new thermostat. Unless just a standard thermostat, I might be able to find for it. Um, and then obviously on the floor here, I have a... That's the... Um, what's that one again? That's the Clotronic. So I've got quite a lot of irons now. A lot and more to come, but yeah, that's that for the time being. So, thank you very much for watching that, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little video as much as I did. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you in all my next videos I do as well. Oh, yeah, I got that on there, my wall Battersea Power Station. I've got some more London Underground stuff to put up, but I see here in 2009 when I extended the circle line, but I've got to find a frame for that. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.